Hey guys, Madison here, and so I know I haven't posted in a while, and I'm not going to make up some lame excuse as to why I haven't posted. I just wasn't able to, so thank you guys so, so much for 200 subscribers. I reached it on Sunday, and I'm really happy. Double chins are not looking cute today. I mean, they never looked cute. Okay, so... Today I'm going to be doing a story time type video and I'm going to be talking about my very first concert alone. Well like, I wasn't alone but I was without my parents so I consider that to be alone because I've only been to concerts with my mom or my dad. So, sorry. So yeah, like a month ago, over a month ago in March, I went to a Choice of One concert in Miami, Florida. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys about it. So, yeah. I'm acting like I had like six cups of coffee. Co coffee. Coffee, guys! It's called coffee now. Not coffee, but coffee. Let's talk about the concert because that's what this video is about. So, <laughs> so for Christmas, I got two concert tickets and my parents were like, you don't have to take us, like you can take a friend. So I was like, okay. So I took my friend Lynn with me. Okay. I just had to delete like six apps on my phone because... It was being stupid and there was too much usage going on. Anyways, okay, so let's get back to the story finally. Um, I went to church in the morning because I love Jesus. Then after that, I got ready for the concert and I put on these shorts and this cute sweater and I looked cute, you know? I had my hair straight and I had mascara on and I looked so cute, okay? Um, I got my outfit on, I went, picked up Lynn, she looked cute AF <laughs> and um, yeah, we went on our way to the concert, and my dad got lost a few times, we had to make a couple of U-turns, and finally we were on the freeway on our way to Miami. We got to Miami, and it was crazy, like, the traffic in Miami is so bad, especially Miami Beach, which is where the venue was. It was so hectic and busy, and there was so much traffic, but I loved it so much because it was just like, it was, it was vibes, like vibes, like chill. Like. It was really cool. I would love to live in Miami. I love Miami so much, and yeah, if you live in Miami, you are lucky because I would love to live in Miami. So we got to the venue, and our friends were saving us our place in line and we were like like 200th person in line so we went and we met up with her we waited like two hours to get into the venue which was really chill because everyone around us was really cool and they were really friendly and they were super nice <sighs> and we just caught up with our friend because we hadn't seen her in like a year because we don't go to the same school anymore people were promoing all of their like bands or YouTube channels and stuff and it was super cute. They opened the doors into the Fillmore, the venue that it was at, and everyone went crazy. <laughs> People started pushing and running and yelling and it was, it was a thing. It was a very, very, very scary thing, okay? Let me just tell you that. Cause I'd never been to a concert where it was first come first served and my first one was alone. <laughs> And I was like, um, what am I supposed to do? But then once we were waiting to get into the theater, people were yelling, I forgot. We, they were chanting something and we would say, it's lit. And it was so cute. And I Snapchatted it. And it was, it was really cute. Like that night was so cute. So finally we, they opened the doors into the theater. And let's just say, let's be generous here. It was a hurt, it was a stampede. It was painful <laughs> because literally they were full-on pushing you to get in like the people behind you it was it hurt I got a bruise on my arm the, the next day it was crazy okay let me just tell you that because band girls they don't mess around like if they want something they're going to get it if they want to be right next to Troy during the concert they are going to get it no matter what they have to do <laughs> So we got in and we were on the floor, not seats, we were standing, but like it was so cool. And then we waited for like another hour inside of there and it was so hot because everyone was talking. And then the opening act came out and he was 
so cute. I loved him so much and his voice was incredible. And then he played for like 40 minutes and then we had to wait another hour. Can I, an hour for Troy. And at, we had to wait another hour. We waited two hours for this boy. After being actually let in, we waited two hours. And everyone, when we were waiting for him, everyone was like, you know, he's probably with Connor backstage. But yeah, we were all very, very anxious and impatient. And I just wanted to see Troy. I just wanted to see my little Troy boy, okay? I just wanted to see him. He came out. He came, he came out. I just am. I'm really hyper. I don't know. But he came out onto the stage and everyone started screaming and everyone had their phones out and it was just crazy. Um, and he sang Bite. And then after that he was like, you know, I was really nervous to come to Florida because I don't know what to expect. <laughs> and then he was like, I didn't know Florida got down like this. He is so cute in person. Like, you see pictures of him and you're like, oh, his eyes are cute. Oh, his hair is really curly. Like, it's so cute, you know? But then when you see him in person, you can see every detail of his being. And you're like, this boy's an angel. Is, is he even real? Is he actually in front of me? Because he's actually flawless. He also said that we were arguably the loudest crowd and we were the second biggest. I think the biggest was like in Los Angeles, but you know, and then he sung the rest of his songs and it was really cute and I love him so much. And he was just being adorable the entire time. And fun fact, after the concert, I found this video. He was singing Talk Me Down. And during one of the pauses where he wasn't singing, this guy yelled, I love you, Troy. And <laughs> this boy mouthed, I love you too. What? And then you could hear the people like yelling in the background and saying, oh, he said I love you too. <laughs> I mean, also, there, there was this guy that was standing in front of me and he, he was like with a bunch of his friends that were girls. And during one of the songs, Troy told us to like introduce ourselves with the person next to us. The song that he was about to sing was like really romantic and stuff. And he was like, well, introduce your, some, yourself to someone now so that you can like. <laughs> and, um, this guy came up to the guy that was in front of us and they like introduced each other and they exchanged Instagrams, they exchanged phone numbers and they were so cute and then they stayed together for the entire concert. I still can't hold that up. I, I can't get over the fact that I went to this concert and this video is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit. <sighs> I'm just being very, very unorganized. I make the ugliest faces in my videos and I don't even realize that I do and then when I edit I'm like, mm. I think you guys have heard enough. I love the Choice of One concert. If you have a chance to go to one, go to the one. It was really fun and I had a great time and Troy was beautiful as always. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be soon because I'm back in the grind, bitches. <laughs> Bye guys. I haven't done that in forever and I miss it so much. Guys, I love you. Ew. I look so ugly that close, what the heck?